Hickok 45 here with some snakes on the table. Yes, anaconda, python, I love snakes, don't you? <laughs> and I have one of these I've never fired. That's why I didn't start out shooting. And it's this little baby right here. So I'm gonna load it up and shoot it. And I just have a couple other, the anaconda, the old python, because they're all some variation of that. You can tell by the ribbed barrels, right? Those beautiful ribbed barrels. At least most people think they are. So this is a recent acquisition. It is the uh, Colt Python Combat Elite. Didn't know it existed a week ago. Yeah, smooth cylinder, uh, G10, kind of a boot grip on it, night sights, three inch barrel. Who knew? I didn't know they made this, but it followed me home once I did know. <laughs> so. I have not fired it. This is one of those. Okay, it might not fire. I don't know. Maybe it won't shoot. Maybe the sights are way off, but thought it'll do this very often, but I just got it and uh, didn't have a lot of chance to shoot it anyway. And I thought, you know what? Let's just wait for the video and shoot the thing for the first time. How about that? We'll put one on paper for the first time, hopefully in the red. Uh, in the blue. How's that? Let's put one on the cowboy. Put another one on him. Well, it's missing. Let's put one on that red too. <laughs> Boom. I missed a uh, chamber there. Let <laughs> me get my act together here. So, yeah, I never did fire it. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to fire it some more. It's a, a combat elite model. I don't know. It just really appealed to me. And, I, you know, I have not uh, bought one of the new... 2020 pythons uh, we've gosh done videos with uh how many of them about three at least different ones maybe four and i've i've liked them but just not enough to lay the money down yeah okay those are some of my hand loads little smoky hand loads well, feels pretty good pretty good uh Three inch barrel, you know, I like three inch barrels uh, on revolvers. I like other lengths too, but uh, the three inch is really nice. It's uh, about as short as I want on a, I don't know, kind of a belt gun, uh, you'd say. Now for a pocket gun, it's, yeah, shorter is fine. But three inches, uh, just a nice length. Okay, so is four, so is five, so is six, so is eight. <laughs> so you can see the lineage, you know, the old Colts and the uh, long barrel. This is an eight inch uh, anaconda. It's not a python, but you know, it's basically the same thing. Python on steroids, right? And uh, this is the old 1981 uh, python. So blue, different look, plus it's uh, a vintage and not the new 2020. So I just brought those out there for comparison on, on size, get an idea what it looked like there, really. And uh, can I shoot it again? So this is, uh, it's nothing too, I'm not gonna like take a 40 minute video here. It's dangerous when I say that, isn't it? But I wanna make you aware of it. Uh, this is one, I just, it's, it's an impulse buy. I shoot some magnums again. It's an impulse buy, okay? I, I, I have to confess. And uh, I don't know, I, I've had in the back of my mind, maybe I need a 2020 Python. Uh, I like them a lot and uh you know, some people ask why don't you have one you know and all that kind of thing and we had that little issue with the screw on that first video we did with one but that was just a little tweak apparently colt needed to make and uh, i've not heard much about that being a problem so i'm not afraid of them or i wouldn't have bought the anaconda just just uh this is nifty i, I don't know how practical it is uh i might prefer my i don't know my three inch smith my uh model 65 when it comes right down to it but i don't know it's just there's something about that thing and i'll tell you something else if you'll let me i don't really i've never been that fond of unfluted cylinders on revolvers some people really like it and uh and, and sometimes it's a really premium revolver that has an unfluted cylinder some special model whether it's smith or colt or whoever and i've just never been crazy about them but on that, on this, uh, for some reason, it, it's, it's okay, you know? It'd be fine either way. There's some revolvers I just don't want, especially single action. All right, 
Let's cock it and kill a buffalo with these magnets. Get my ears in tight. Boom. 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 Well, let's see. Have I tested the sights? Not really. Well, let me wing a couple over there towards the gong. The sights could be off. I, I just don't know. Obviously, I don't know. I don't know, these are my first shots. I got one more bullet. Let's throw it out there, too. I'll throw it at the uh, buffalo, or no, the ram, and uh, maybe I can see where it hits when I miss. I think it went loaded. One thing about it, it's, it's uh, kind of chunky, not light, no doubt about it. Uh, it's two and a half pounds, and which puts it as heavier, I don't know, like 20% heavier or 15% heavier than the Smith & Wesson 3-inch Model 65, I think. So it's a little heavier than, uh, than that. And yeah, as usual, bad and it's good. It uh, helps you absorb the recoil a little bit more. And I could tell that shooting these magnums because typically in a three inch gun, well, you know you've cut loose a magnum round, you know, when you do that. Uh, not that they hurt you necessarily, you've got decent grips, but uh, I, can, I can just feel this one absorbing a little more of the recoil with these uh, pretty warm rounds uh, over my Smith. And let's see if it's worthy of pot smoking. Wow, smoked that one, didn't it? Ah, get caught. Well, that's a bad round. And he's a little breaking in here. You can cock it with authority. Am I empty? No, I'm not. I gotta figure out that sight. I think uh, maybe I'm going low. I'm gonna shoot that uh, three inch python. It's not exactly an exotic uh, firearm. They've been making it in three inch. Uh, did they make it in two and a half? I don't know, I forget. For a while and this one is no different in uh, size i guess it's just the differences the three main differences are the night sight the uh unfluted cylinder and then the grips where they're flush there all right talk this thing i'm gonna decide whether i'm uh, holding high or low here i'm gonna hold right in the middle of that stop sign pretty much oh yeah yeah it's praying a little bit low I was going to bring a screwdriver out, so I need to raise the rear side a little bit. Okay, now let's see if we can hit one of those arms. Now that I know where to hold, yeah, okay, <laughs> maybe I can hit the gong now that I know where to hold. I'll hold on the top of him. I heard it, I heard it. Nothing like knowing where your bullets are going. Let's see if I've got the sights figured out enough to hit this blue leader right here. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, cowboy. I'm gonna hold a little high. I'm gonna put it up near his nose if I can. Yep, I've gone over it. Boom. <laughs> so, alright, yeah, I'll need to raise the rear sight. That was something I was gonna mention on the uh on the the Anaconda, which had the same sight, I replaced it with the Wilson Combat sight, which is a nicer sight, more solid. And I don't know if I do that with this. Uh, I got the Anaconda out. I was actually thinking, I think I'll go ahead and order a, a Wilson Combat rear sight for it. But you notice that there's a big difference. I mean, there's a difference in size. You know, this that sight on the that that's i mean it's a python or anaconda side either one it's for both of them but you see the difference there in size 
Uh, it worked fine, I guess, of course, but uh, I don't know. With this being a, a little three inch gun, it's not a pocket gun, but I don't know if I want a bigger side on it. We'll see how, how this one works. If I get it adjusted and everything to where it, where it does fine. Okay, I think I figured out. It was a little, a little, uh, need a little break in. This is some, yeah, this is some Winchester, I believe. Okay. So, a little Winchester. Let's put a couple on that propane tank. Oh man, that's got some force too. <laughs> How about the big old uh, tombstone there? Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. Click. Click. I like the one thing I've liked about all the, the pythons, that, well, the anacondas the same way, is the trigger breaks. Uh, further forward than some revolvers, which I like. I don't like as much because of my large hand, but but you got it cocked or whatever, double action. It doesn't break till you get all the way back here against the back of the trigger guard. One of the cool thing about the pythons I noticed right away was on the very first one, when you double action, man, it 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 breaks. Actually it's pretty far back, but it it's not nearly as far back as some revolvers. I just I just like that. So, yeah, pretty cool. So anyway, and this thing reached a MSRP is like $14.99, not cheap. I'll shoot a couple specials, see if it'll fire specials. I think I already did fire some specials, but fire some more. How's that? Get you out of here. Yeah, I wanted you to be with me on my uh, first experience with it. Here we go. Nothing like a revolver, right? How about you, Buffalo again? I put, see if I can hold uh, up enough to put one of these on a gong. Got him. <laughs> yeah, I meant to bring a screwdriver, but I wouldn't want to waste your time taking 15 minutes tweaking my sight, getting it right on, necessarily, right? How about you, cowboy? How about you, two liter? I think the windage might be uh, pretty good. Yep. I had a bad let off on that first one. Uh, what else needs to be shot? How about that bowling pin right there? Do I have another round? Yeah, I do. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yep, I think it needs a little break in, but uh, I think I'll like it. I think I'll like it. Pretty cool. Again, I'll shoot six more and I'll let you let you go. Okay. I'm just going to pop six out here. Uh, what else about it? I think, uh, yeah, it's not a lot different. It's a three inch uh, Python, 2020 Python, a new Python. And again, just those three main differences. And, uh, you know, so. Let's just shoot something here. Yep. Combat ready. Combat ready, I'll have to say. Uh, the Colt Python Combat Elite. You might have not been aware of it either. Uh, although, just because I'm not aware of something doesn't mean you're not aware of it. Because I'm pretty clueless sometimes. I, I don't keep up like I should with new models and, and all that sort of thing. And of course, it's got, I didn't go into all the details of the 2020 Python. We've got several videos on that and so do a lot of, a lot of people. But so it's got all those characteristics, the different action and everything. And uh, just those three main differences on the Elite model. So is it Elite? Well, I don't know. I, I think it's kind of Elite and kind of interesting. I'll raise that side a few notches and shoot it some more. And, uh, you know, I might even get some different grips eventually. Those are fine, the size and everything fit my hand just fine. I don't mind not having a place for my little finger. You know, I, I'm used to small firearms. I, I would rather them have a little more friction. They're smooth. That, that might be nice. But, uh, yeah, so far, pretty cool little, little piece of hardware. And it's a little chunk, two and a half pounds. Yeah. Life is good. Oh yeah, that's better. This is a great gun for defense. 
Oh, hey, didn't see you guys there. Uh, while I've got you here, I want to remind you of our friends over at Talon Grips and Ballastall. Talon Grips makes uh, grips, can you believe it? Uh, for all different types of firearms, you can get rough texture or more of a rubberized texture. Uh, it just sticks right on there. You know, really affordable, really cool option to in, improve the grip for your handguns um, or, or rifles. Uh, so please check them out at talongungrips.com. You'll be glad you did. And also Ballastol. Uh, Dad has been using Ballastol for many years. It's a cleaner and a lubricant, and it's non-toxic. Uh, it works really great, and we're happy to have them on board since it's been a part of our shooting endeavor for a very long time. So go to ballastol.com, talongungrips.com. And also, while you're out there, I'm juggling all these things here. Also, uh, while you're on the internet, please do check out our other social media like Hickok45 on Facebook. There's also Hickok45 on Twitter, the real Hickok45 on Instagram. There's a John underscore Hickok45 on Instagram where I do some things. There's Hickok45.com. Uh, you can find us also on GunStreamer. So check out all that stuff and then watch more videos.